Shopping for Halloween doesn't have to be scary. Welcome to On A Budget. Today we're discussing the niftiest, thriftiest, wallet-friendliest ways to decorate your home for Halloween this year. Lots of places are promising deals that are so good it's frightening, but where do you actually go to avoid getting jump scared when you check the tag? For holiday decorating specifically, it's always a safe bet to start at Dollar Tree. They've got all the basics from fake spider webs to spooky lighting to these really neat Halloween themed garlands. Other awesome finds to look out for are these skeleton in hand wine glasses. They come in both purple and iridescent, and they also have champagne flutes. But my personal favorite find is this sparkly skeleton man. You'll see what I do with him later. And if you're not quite satisfied with Dollar Tree, you can always check out Family Dollar as well, but be sure to watch the price tags. There is a price increase that comes with the Family Dollar name. Regardless, don't be afraid to take a quick peek inside because you never quite know what you'll find. Now, hopefully after you've hit up all your local dollar stores, you've gotten your basics wrapped up and you're now looking for that bit of personal touch. And for that, I have the perfect suggestion. It's time to hit up your local thrift store. Now, I know Goodwill has a reputation of being hit or miss, but you gotta admit, if you're looking for something unique, something that no one else has, there is no better place to check. Now, don't get me wrong, thrift shopping certainly takes the most patience of any budget-friendly option on this list, but I would argue it's more than worth it. I, in fact, tend to visit multiple, and I would encourage you to try to as well. If you're looking for something personal, why not try something that was once personal to someone else? I myself found these holographic spiderweb plates for only $4. And of course, while you're there, don't forget to check the sections that aren't designated for Halloween. You never know what you might find, like these candle stands. Or this one. Or this one. Point is, don't count your thrift stores out quite yet. There's definitely some hidden gems lying around. Now, let's take a minute to talk about some places you might actually want to avoid this year. This, of course, should be taken with a grain of salt. Obviously, I can't stop you from going anywhere, but here's a quick word of advice you might want to consider. Places like Home Goods and HomeSense are often trying to sell you on trends, fleeting things that provide no longevity and no repeated use for years to come. While the idea of a pink pony Halloween might seem nice this year, it might not the next, and the best way to save your money is to buy things that you will continue continue to use. So you might want to skip out on this green ghoul vampire bat boy thing. Seriously, what is this? Point is, consider treading lightly. It might just save your wallet. And speaking of treading lightly to save your wallet, we should probably talk about Spirit Halloween. While Spirit is great for breathing life into the dead husks of stores that have since gone bankrupt, it can also murder your wallet if you are not careful. But if you are, it can provide finishing touches that won't break the bank. Like these bleeding candles for only $5. You could even pair them with the candle stands we saw at the thrift store before. But for me, this is where I headed home. Here is my haul. I decided to start by decorating my balcony with this creepy cloth. I paired it with the holographic spiderweb plates and the skeleton hand champagne flutes. And for a finishing touch, I decided to wrap bars with Halloween themed garland just to pull it all together. And I'm overall really happy with how this turned out. I then headed inside to use more of that creepy cloth inside my kitchen as well as so many fake spider webs. I may end up regretting that later. Anyways, I ended up using a lot of the same items I used on the balcony, and as for Sparkly Skeleton Man, he has the important task of holding my purse and keys. But I'd say this space really comes alive in the dark. I ended up using those purple light bulbs to create this spooky lighting, as well as some candles, and I'm really happy with the overall result, and I don't think I broke the bank too much, so I hope this helps you on your Halloween decorating journey, and thanks for watching.